Digital Passport here, and today we're visiting Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico is a fantastic island that's still largely undiscovered. In this video, I'll share some of the best adventures you can have on Puerto Rico for less than $1.50. 1. Visit the Bacardi Factory. Meet Bacardi, the most famous liquor company in the world. Founded by Don Facundo Bacardi Masso in 1862, it's still family-owned and operated. He started with a small distillery that produced only five barrels of rum per day. Today, they produce over one million barrels annually at eight different facilities on four continents. The headquarters are located in San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is where you can visit their factory for five USD per person. Free if you have military ID. Tours last about an hour and include a look at how rum is made from start to finish, as well as samples of aged rums like Ron Anijo 7 Honors. You'll also get to see how Bacardi makes 150 of their most popular drinks, including the Mojito. The Bacardi factory is located in Catano, Puerto Rico. They are open every day. 2. Hike El Yunque National Forest El Yunque National Forest is the only tropical rainforest in the U.S. It's also one of the most pristine forests on Earth, with more than 150 species of trees, some found nowhere else on Earth. It's an adventure just getting to El Yu. Most people visit by car or tour bus, but you can also take a helicopter ride from San Juan or hike up through lush mountain trails. The best way to explore El Yu is backpacking and camping for at least three days or more. All equipment, tents, sleeping bags, cooking supplies are provided for your group, so all you need to do is show up with your clothes and food. Every night there will be a new story around the campfire about the Taino Indians and how they once roamed the mountains of El Yu. 3. Take a day trip to Culebra or Vicks Island. If you're wondering what to do on your next visit to Puerto Rico, Culebra and Vicks Island are two of the most underrated destinations in the Caribbean. You can take a day trip from San Juan or Fajardo, so it's not too expensive either. Culebra is more of an island getaway, while Beaks is more for nature lovers who want to explore beaches and rainforests without getting into the water all that often. Here are some of our favorite things to do when visiting these two islands. 1. Take a tour with Iguana Tours. They offer packages for snorkeling trips kayaking tours, horseback riding excursions, and treasure hunts where you can find hidden gems on the beach. 2. Visit Flamenco Beach in Culebra. This world-famous spot has been named one of the best beaches in the world for its swimmable waters, fine white sand, and gorgeous sunsets. 3. Cycle around Beaks Island. It's a great way to see the sights and meet the locals. 4. Watch kiteboarders fly along. Spectacular views can be seen in Culebra and Vicks when kiteboarders take to the skies. It's an unforgettable experience that you can't miss out on. 4. Go snorkeling at La Pargara Marine Reserve. If you're going to Puerto Rico, there's a lot of recommended things to do. But one activity that many people miss when visiting the land of Columbus is snorkeling in La Pargara Marine Reserve. This is a place where you can swim with tropical fish and see coral reefs in their natural habitat. It also offers some great opportunities for underwater photography from shipwrecks to beautiful tropical seascapes. Even if you've been snorkeling before, this site has plenty of new sites to offer. The reserve is located just 4 miles northwest from Rio Grande Village on the southern coast of the island, about 45 minutes outside San Juan, so it's very accessible by car or bus, depending on your schedule. Locations within the reserve include Caja de Muertos, Coffin Island, Argra Beach, the aquarium and additional beaches perfect for picnicking. 5. Explore Old San Juan. With the exception of a few modern skyscrapers, Old San Juan is a living museum. A walk through its cobbled streets and courtyards will transport you back to colonial times. You can visit old forts, walk on ancient battlements, climb up the lighthouse watchtower, or relax in one of many plazas. Some of the most famous landmarks in Old San Juan are La Fortaleza, which is the official residence of the governor, and El Moro, a 16th century citadel. There is also Castillo San Cristobal, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was built to protect the city from attack. The oldest part of the city is also one of the most colorful and crowded. Cal de Cristo, a cobbled alleyway that runs parallel to the ocean, is lined with shops and restaurants. That's all for this video. See you guys on our next video.
leave a like, comment, and subscribe.